All right, guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name's Kermit. Behind me is a 1930 street rod, Ford. It's beautiful. I mean, you can see the paint job is absolutely immaculate. We're going to put this thing up on the hoist. We're going to give you a detailed uh, visual inspection of the underside of this thing. And it's, trust me, it's beautiful. We're going to actually take it outside, take it for a ride, show you the engine, fire it up for you. Whole nine yards, that way you can really get a good idea of what you're buying here at Vanguard. So, let's get started. All right, guys, this is the front of our street right here. I mean, as you can see, the paint is really, really, really nice on this thing. Two-tone, and I love the gray on a lighter gray or silver. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. They've got it pinstriped here on all the body lines where, or not the body lines, I'm sorry, the paint lines where the paint colors meet. It's absolutely just very professionally done, and you can tell it actually is a professional pinstripe that is done on this thing. Absolutely beautiful. Um, you can see the hood here. I mean, absolutely great on this thing. They've got all of the rubber in here that normally these things rub a lot right here. And they actually have the rubber actually spaced where you can, I mean, the body line is actually really, really nice on this thing. You don't see that a lot on A models. Uh, fins here in the hood look good. I see a small block Chevy poking out from underneath the hood there, but more on that in a minute. Uh, I mean, fender, absolutely beautiful on this thing. I love the wheels and tires, and I love the white walls. I mean, there's nothing better on white walls on a, like a Model A street rod. It's just awesome. Running boards look good. Door opens up, closes just fine. All these gaps here look about right for an A model that's not supposed to sit in there. This is just how they're made. I mean, absolutely awesome. Rip rails look good. I mean, the paint on this thing is absolutely immaculate. In the back here, we got a big uh, set of fatter Coker Classics in the back here with a really awesome five spoke mag rim. We got the Lucky Dice uh, valve stem there, which is really cool. Drum brakes in the rear, I mean, very nice, very uh, period correct for this thing. It looks to be right around like a 60s custom looking thing. It's awesome. It is 12 volt converted car as well, but uh, more on that once again in a second. I love how the uh, exhaust pipes here, they've got them kind of like very, very tightly niched into the back here. Absolutely beautiful on this thing. You can see they got the same paint pinstripe that's running through here. All these, I mean, all the body lines on this thing look pretty good for a 30. Up in here, this is the trunk. Got it nice and upholstered. Uh, this is where you fill, fill the thing up. The fuel tank is actually in there. I think it, uh, it's in between the seat and the uh, floor area here, and it's actually kind of nestled down in there, so you don't got to worry about you know any safety issues or anything like that. Hinges look good. Closes just like that. Perfect. I love the tail lights on this thing. They look to be LEDs on this thing too, so they're going to be nice and bright for you, unlike the standard six volt lights that would have been on this car. Uh, from the factory back in 1930. Uh, drip rails on this side also looking good. Opening up the door for you here. They do have all of this uh, actually kind of felted so you don't get any rubbing and things like that that the original ones had to deal with. Closing the door just like that. Hinges looking good. Whoever sprayed this paint, whoever sprayed this paint did a very, very good job. A lot of the time with the uh, clears, you get a lot of tiger, or I'm sorry, not clears, the uh, Metal flake, you get a lot of tiger striping if you get an inexperienced paint guy. And this thing is, I mean, it looks beautiful. It's like one solid tone. Absolutely awesome. Well, let's check out the interior. All right, guys, as you can see, it's pretty darn custom in here, but it's all pretty period correct for this car as far as like steering wheel and instrument cluster kind of sort of things look. But in the way that they function, they're all modern. You can see here we've got the uh, custom upholstered door panel here, but it's all got the stock Model A handles on it. Um, you can see here we've got what looks to be like a 40s Ford steering wheel here. Very cool. Uh, once again, kind of period correct, but you know, resto modded. Um, you've got your, uh, I think Low Carb makes this, if I'm not mistaken, this uh, steering column mount here. We've got old school steering, um, or I'm sorry, uh, turn signals here with the emergency flasher button there. Um, we've got the spoon style gas pedal here, and uh, it is cable, so it, it does actually drive very well. None of the bind of any linkages or anything like that. Uh, underneath this little flap here would be a master cylinder access because it does have the uh, hydraulic brakes on this thing. Um, brake pedal here, it looks to be like a nice uh, solid custom made one here. Underside of the dash looking good. All of your kick panels look like they're in good shape. This seat is super, super comfy. <laughs> I mean, it looks like actually a couch that I would put in my living room. Um, 
see here all our gauge panel here, all of our gauges match, custom gauge cluster, you know, it's in the center just like the Model A's were, but uh, as you can see, uh, extensively updated. And as you can see here, there's a shutoff underneath this seat, so for theft safety, if you for whatever reason want to uh, feel that you want to leave your car outside, you're not too comfortable about the neighborhood, just pop the seat up, there's a switch under there, you can hit that, kills connection to the battery, and this thing will not start regardless of how hard you hot, uh, try to hotwire it. Closing the door like that, we'll go check out, uh, I'm sorry, take a look at the other side. All right guys, same good looking door panel here, same as the driver's side. I would like to point out, and you can see it better from here, you've got the interior lights on this old thing, which is really awesome. I mean, someone actually took the time to not only wire in, you know, functional turn uh, signals with the old school switch and what have you, a horn and all those things, they took the time to fun or, uh, actually wire in functional uh, interior lights. I mean, really nice worksmanship, and the, like I, you always hear me say it, fit and finish with these cars is what really sells them to me, and this car has got a very high uh, quality of fit and finish on this thing. Absolutely beautiful. Well, I guess uh, that's about it for this. Let's go uh, take it for a ride. All right, now that you've had a quick look at the car, if you want to go straight to our website and check out about 180 other cars, hit the top button. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit the middle button. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bottom button. Now let's get back out there and check out that car. All right guys, before we even start driving, this thing is awesome and let me show you why. Check this out. That's awesome, completely electric. I don't know how they did this and you never see that on these cars and you can't tell it's even there. I don't know where they got the motor at, but that's cool. So with, now that we uh, showed you that, now we can go for a drive in this little thing. We'll wait, let's wait to let traffic clear here just for a second. This thing runs really good, guys. It starts right up every time. It is throttle, or I'm sorry, uh, fuel injection on this thing, and it's a, a GM fuel injection, like a stock thing, not an aftermarket one. Automatic transmission shifts just fine. Uh, starting off, steering wheel's nice and straight. No pulls, nothing like that hitting the brakes here because the guy up in front of me stopped waiting to turn. While we're sitting here waiting, I'd like to point out that the charge gauge does work. We got 14 volts. That means the alternator is doing its job. Fuel gauge, we got uh, quite a bit of gas in the thing. We should be all good there and it is functional. Um, RPM or your tachometer working just fine. We got our miles per hour here, our speedometer working good. And this is all electronic stuff. All these gauges are electronic. Um, Stuart Warner gauges for the, for the record. Water uh, temperature, that's working, and we do have oil pressure, and it is really good, which means this motor is really healthy. And you're gonna see it come down here in a second when I stop, and that's the test of how healthy a motor is, in my opinion, is uh, at least for stock engines, is uh, how much uh, hot, low oil, or low idle oil pressure we got here. And look at that, we got like 50 pounds. This thing's awesome. All right, old school turn signals at work. We're making our turn. Transmission just shifted. Got to remember to turn these old school ones off. We've all looked like idiots before with our turn signals on. Getting up to speed here, getting past this guy. This motor does sound really good, but it'd be kind of rude to floor it past this guy. Uh, but once again, I'd like to point out, absolutely no pulls whatsoever. I'm going to hit the brakes coming up here to this turn, and you're going to see no brake pull whatsoever. You got discs on the front of this thing. Check that out right there, nice and straight. Coming around this corner here. This motor runs really, really well. This thing's pretty darn quick, too. And the kick down works. <laughs> Coming up to a stop sign here. Well, a yield sign, I should say. All right, well, here at Vanguard Motor Sales, if you would like to actually look at this car or you would like to send a shipper, or not a shipper, an um, inspector out to see this vehicle, we, uh, we'd accommodate that. We'll put it up on the hoist for you. Just make sure to call beforehand. We can put it up on the hoist for them, take them for a ride, and take you for a ride if uh, need be. Using our turn signal yet again here. Make sure there's no traffic. Oh, wow, I'm lucky. Uh, but like I was saying, make sure to just call if you want to see that or any of our other inventory. We got 180 cars here. Um, we are in around like the Detroit Motor uh, City area. So, I mean, look us up. I think it's 15100 Kill Street we're on. Uh, Stop on in. If you, even if you guys are flying from out of state and you want to see a car, like I said, just make sure to call so that way it's, uh, it's there and not at our storage facility. 
And uh, here in just a second, we're going to throw this thing up on a hoist, and we're going to show you the whole underside of this thing, and it's very nice. This thing was very well done. Of course, you know, the frame looks to be, if not restored and boxed and what have you, it looks to be like just a completely and totally aftermarket frame. You can buy these for these Model A's. I'm not certain exactly, but I, I can see it when I did the top video of this car, and it looked nice. It was painted red. It, I'm really excited to see it. And it accents the silver very, very well. Turning our turn signals on again. That truck didn't sound too healthy as it was passing. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. All right, here we are, back at the shop. All right, guys, this is the underside of that really awesome 30 street rod you just saw me driving in. This thing is extremely custom, and, and just to, you know, as, as I kind of thought to myself while I was driving it, man, I bet you this thing has got one hellacious undercarriage. It does. Uh, this thing has got a fully custom frame on the thing. It's got, this is a Curry case uh, rear end on this thing. It's got uh, really nice coilover shocks on the thing. They're fully adjustable. It's a, it's a uh, uh, what did I say? It's a Curry rear end. It's actually a nine inch. Um, it's got four link on it. Uh, as you can see, and it's got your, uh, your pan hard bar up here. Uh, U joints, we always check them. They're nice and tight. This is, uh, and this actually explains why it sounds as good as it does. I've never seen this muffler before. It's called an aero turbine muffler. And I, I would suspect it's just a glass pack in there because this thing sounds just so radical when you rev it and when you're into it. I mean, it's just awesome this thing does. Uh, floorboards look absolutely excellent on this thing. Uh, we do have drums in the back. We always take them apart. We always you know, make sure that they're put together correctly, make sure that our uh, wheel cylinders aren't leaking, correct adjustment, the shoes are put in the right place, and uh, if it does have self-adjuster that they do uh, function correctly. But uh, in addition to that, I can see this thing actually does have a functional parking brake. I have tested it. It does indeed work. But uh, moving forward, this is a custom drive shaft in this thing for the, uh, you know, the Turbo 350 transmission that is in it. It's got a nice chrome pan on the thing. Doesn't really seem like it's leaking or anything like that, which is a good thing. Chrome likes to leak. Um, here we got a uh, power brake system on the car. Like I said, it's drum in the rear, but we do have discs in the front, and we do have the correct master cylinder for this. And it does look like it's a uh, SSCB uh, master cylinder, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of difficult to see the logo on this thing, but definitely aftermarket master cylinder. Um, I can tell that the brake lines on this thing, someone really cared when they did this because the plumbing is done very well and that's one of my favorite things to see is that, you know, you've got a lot of nice right angles, you know what I mean, in your, in your brake lines, not just a whole bunch of bent stuff that's just, yeah. So, anywho, uh, I digress, I suppose. Uh, wiring is also pretty nice on this car. You do have a big old uh, modern fuel filter on this thing. The horns are up underneath the car, nice and tucked away. You don't see them. Um, here's the underside of that kill switch that I was speaking of when I was doing the top of the video. I believe this right here is your fuel pump. This does look like a modern fuel pump, nice and quiet, not like the big old uh, Holly Reds, you know, when you turn them on and it's just like, it sounds like a radio on full blast. Uh, and if I didn't mention it, I think I forgot to mention it during the driving video. This thing does have a radio nestled up in the top of the, um, I guess it would be uh, right above the column if there was a column in this car, and it does indeed work. And it works well, actually, too. Um, this is the front side of our uh, 350 uh, crate motor here. It's Chevy 350. We do have uh, block hugger headers on it. You're going to see a little bit more of them from the top. Um, exhaust looks good all the way down the car. Nice and uh, looks like it's brand new. They did heat wrap the starter too, which you know you don't have the big uh, headers hanging down over it, but uh, a little bit of assurance will never insurance will never hurt anybody. Um, we do have rack and pinion steering in the car, and honest to God, I thought this thing was was power steering from driving it because it drove so well. I can see now that it's not, but you really do not need it in this car. It's actually very very nice. Um, like I said, the rear end was a four link. This is actually the old school stick axle in this car. Of course, it is going to probably have a drop on it, which is very, very period correct custom for these things. We've got, got our big chrome leaf spring hidden underneath this front piece here. Um, disc brakes in the front. We've got Goodyear lines all over this car. No rubber lines, so you know that explains the brake uh, responsiveness is very high on this car. And of course, you don't have any uh, problems with like abrasion and things like that. You know, because these stainless steel lines, they're very tough. Race cars use them. They're nice stuff. Um, let me see here. Anything else other than just the fact that the front end is all chrome on this thing to match the really awesome red undercarriage. Absolutely beautiful. Fully boxed everything. Undersides of the fenders look great. Chrome shocks, you know what I mean? It's, it's really, really nice. Well, I guess let's do wheels and tires and then we can check out the Chevy 350. All right, guys, these are the white walls that I mentioned in the showroom. These are 165 15s. Um, the, like I said, they're Coker Classics, which is the white wall, and we do have these really awesome five-spoke mag rims with the billet uh, outer ring on them. I mean, they're awesome. I love these rims. You see them on a lot of hot rods, and they just it, there's a reason. They look good. They match a hot rod. Uh, you can see our disc brakes in here. We do have, looks like a stock style of like a GM 
disc brakes off of like maybe like a 70s Camaro or something of that nature. So nice and easy to find parts and pads for if you do happen to need them. Um, you can see up in the fenders on this thing, it's beautiful. This thing doesn't look like it's ever been driven through a puddle. <laughs> um, let's go check out the rears. All right guys, back here we got a lot more meat. This is a 235-70 R15, same good looking Coker uh, white wall classic on the thing, same good looking rim. There's our drum brake, I already spoke of those, those are the lucky dice. Um, shouldn't need luck with this thing because it actually runs and drives pretty good. You got EFI on the thing, so really, you really wouldn't need luck to drive it. I don't, it seems pretty reliable to me. Um, as far as uh, inner fenders go, they look beautiful, nothing wrong with that. And uh, now it's time to get to the good stuff. Let's check out the motor. All right, guys, underneath the hood or hoods on this thing, we have a Chevy small block. Um, I did run the casting number on this thing. It's a four bolt main, two piece uh, rear main seal block. It, and as you can see, it was pretty dry under there. It doesn't like, you know, leak like a sieve, like a lot of two piece uh, rear main seals do. Very nice. Uh, I like the valve covers on this thing. You can see it is fuel injection. This is GM style fuel injection on this thing. So it starts up every single time. We've never had a problem with the thing. You can see we've got uh, billet pulleys on the thing, a really nice chrome alternator, all new rubber on the car. It looks like it's got a really nice water neck on the thing as well. Um, looks like a K&N style air filter. I love those. Got one of those in my personal car. Um, you can see uh, here's the top of our block hugger headers here. Um, very nice, obviously. Stock set of heads on the thing. Uh, looks like we do have the uh, nice electric fan here. This thing doesn't seem to get hot from uh, what I've driven it. We've got our V-belt here. Um, that looks like it was just replaced, of course, when the motor was put in the car, obviously not that long ago. Um, I do believe this is also a, a good wrench crate motor as well after running the casting number, and I, I have come to believe that's what this actually is. Um, you can see in the back here, we've got uh, very nice, well-made um, spark plug wires on the thing. You know, all of the lines look fairly neatly made. Um, the coil, for those of which who want to know, seems like it's actually hidden up inside the car there, so you know, you don't have to worry about any water damage or anything of that nature. The distributor is hidden behind this thing here right back there. Um, looks like the steering linkage is all professionally done. You know, the steering doesn't have any binds in it or anything like that, and they made sure to run it out of the way of everything. Um, you can see all the electronics there are neatly tucked up and tied away. Um, it looks like it's just a very nice car. Very, very well done. High quality build, and I can't stress enough crossing your T's and dotting your I's when you build a car, because if you leave something undone, it's going to come back to bite you, and it seemed like this guy was pretty experienced or was very meticulous when he built it. Very good job building this car. So that's about it. If you'd like this little street rod in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dreams in your driveway. All right, we've made it really easy for you. Click on any one of these five pictures here and it'll take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're gonna give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture. Thank you.